started, let's come to our sitting position and let's, uh, let's listen to the sound of the bells, the sound of the breath. Close the eyes. Drop the shoulders. Lengthen the spine, crown down through the sitting bones. No matter how many times we've practiced this, this posture, Sukhasana, Can we approach it with a new perspective, observing it? Sometimes we get in our habits, into the habits of sitting in a certain way in this posture. So scanning, making sure that we're not overrounding the upper spine and there's no too much arching in the lower spine. Finding length, shoulders are pressing down. You may, if you wish, you may drop the chin down for a little bit to find the length in the back of your neck. Distributing the awareness in the entire body. Taking presence in this space where you are sitting, just like a tree has found uh, roots in the place where it is sitting, standing, same way can we surrender to the space in which we are right now, trying to find the roots that ground us deeper into the earth. without resisting this moment, without thinking about any other moment, just making this space and moment be the most perfect moment and space that there is. Nowhere to go. being here. Bring the palms together. to the center of the heart. And 
and I'd like to start with a quote that I really liked when I read it um, by Indira Gandhi, which says, the purpose of life is to believe, have faith, and to strive. So let's make that our mantra for this practice and for this reset Monday. Yes, Mondays are for reset. Okay, so let's bring the hands over the knees, open your eyes, and let's find our cat and cow. We're going to do a little bit of work today. Since it's Monday, yes, maybe we can create a little sweat. Okay, so uh, press the toes under and inhale into a cow. And exhale round into your cat stretch and inhale again into your cow and exhale back into your cat stretch and one more time inhale and this time turn your hands so that the fingers face your knees to stretch the wrists and again inhale come into your cow and exhale, round into cat. Inhale, back into cow. Exhale, round into cat. One more, inhale into your cow. And exhale, back into now we're going to do the fingers to face the sides. And here we go. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale cow. Exhale cow. Inhale, cow. And last, exhale, cat. All right. Turn your uh, fingers to face forward. Start to squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. And then exhale, come into a child's pose. Inhale, all fours. We're going to bring the forearms down. And we're going to sort of go take the hips back. On the exhale, and inhale forward into your forearm. Exhale back into almost like a child's pose with the hips back over the heels. Inhale forward, last one, exhale. Inhale forward, and this time feel free to lift your, by keeping your elbows down, just lift your forearms down and connect the palms together for a little stretch here. And don't worry about how this posture needs to be or look like. You just feel it. Sense where you're feeling it the most. Are you feeling any stretch? And then release the hands in your forearms. And come into your First downward facing dog of this practice. So listening to the body, what the body needs today, you may want to move. Uh, 
awakening the body or you may want to stay still as you breathe it's important to ask our bodies where is it that we are today without any judgment just listening to the body to what it needs All right, now walk your hands to your feet one by one. And grab the elbows. And again, ask your body whether it wants a little bit of movement or stillness. And release the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Look forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen forward. Head up. Maybe look forward. And exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Separate the feet wider apart from each other. Turn the toes to face the outside and sit on your yogi squat. And look forward. Now, send your arms forward like you are holding a block. Yes. Or you can keep your hands together in front of the heart. So whatever option you feel like. For inhaling, coming up, and exhaling, coming down. Yes. Right away, we start with the activity here. Two sweat. Inhale up, and exhale down. Two. Inhale up, and exhale down. Three. All the way down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Four. Inhale up. Down, five, up, down, six, down, seven, down, yes you can, eight, down, two more, only two more. And last one, inhale up, hold it, and release your arms by the sides, and back, turn your toes to face forward, interlace the fingers behind you, try to bring the wrists to touch each other, and inhale, take a deep, long breath in, and exhale through the mouth and release now walk your feet towards the front of the mat and inhale with your arms up and exhale fold forward inhale lengthen and go ahead and step the feet back to plank okay now bring your knees down Take your chaturanga, exhale, inhale upward, squeeze the shoulder blades back together, exhale downward facing dog. Bend the knees, gaze forward, step or jump, inhale lengthen and exhale fold, inhale come up, exhale hands together in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or jump back. One exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
And again, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Palms together in front of the heart. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale. Inhale upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gaze up. Step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, open. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here. If your body asks you to take child's pose in any of these postures, listen to your body. Okay, let's come on our knees, down on our knees. And we're going to do the... Yogi push-ups. Option is to keep the knees down or up if you want a little more challenge. And so, yogi push-ups are done with the elbows uh, in rather than out. Yes. So exhale lower down to hover. Inhale push up. Exhale down. Hover. Inhale push up. Exhale down. Hover. Push up. Two more. Exhale. Up. Exhale. Up. Downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up high towards the sky. And on the exhale, bring the knee to the left elbow. Hold it here. You can hold it and stay here. Or you can bring the right foot to the floor, to the side of your mat. And maybe open the left arm up. For falling three. And then release. And step the foot forward. Bring the left knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, palms together in front of the heart. And now, uh, let's do the half split. So bring your hands down, send your hips back, slide the foot forward. Maybe lift your toes up, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Press on your back toes for stability. And we're going to do a, our first twist of this practice. We First, we're just going to bring the both hands to the right side of the foot. And just, we, that's all we're going to do. This is our twist right now. Taking a couple of breaths. And try to send the right hip back and left hip forward. And slowly walk your hands back to the center. Bend the front knee. And step back to three-legged plank or full plank. Right leg back. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale upward. And exhale, downward facing dog. So you can stay in downward facing dog or you can come to dolphin, 
by looking forward and keeping the elbows in. Don't let them come to the, the outside. Imagine that you keep you squeezing a block with your elbows. You slowly bring the elbows down for dolphin. Relax the head. Now you can do this in downward facing dog if you prefer, or here in your dolphin. Bring the feet together in the center of the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg up. And exhale, knee to chest. And you'll notice that your head and upper body slightly move forward, like your nose is at the level of your thumbs. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to chest. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Press into your hands to lift elbows up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale. Adjust your stance and try to keep bringing the right hip back, left foot uh, grounded, and the left hip is pressing forward. On the exhale, humble. Interlace the fingers behind you. Try to connect the wrists together behind you. On the inhale, come up. On the exhale, humble. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Warrior three, lift the back leg up. Spread the arms to the sides. And then slowly bring the left foot forward for chair pose. Inhale. Squeeze the knees together. Sit low and don't move the knees as you send the arms back and right arm back, left arm forward like a twist. Yes. And now inhale, arms forward, left arm back. Inhale, both arms forward. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. It's over now. Inhale, lengthen. Step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Inhale, upward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your knees down. We're gonna do another round of five yogi push-ups. Your option, you can do your push-ups with the knees up or down. Elbows in, ready? Five of them, one, exhale down. Up, two, up, three, Four, up, five, and up, and come to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, and then slowly, Bring the knee to the chest, exhale, towards the right elbow, and it either stay here or send the foot to the side, open to your tree, while tree, and slowly bring the right hand down, step the left foot forward, in between your hands, bring your right knee down, Inhale, low lunge. Palms together in front of the heart. I 
and we're coming into a half split. So bring your hands down. Maybe send your left heel forward. Toes are up. Right hip on top of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen, gaze forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. We're going to do our first twist variation. Just walking the hands over to the left side of your foot. Just that's your twist here. So keep working on the foundation. You can press on your back toes for support. Notice what happens when you press into your big toe and keep sending the right hip back, left hip forward. And slowly release. Bend the front knee again and step back to three-legged plank or full plank, left leg back. Chaturanga. Inhale upward. And exhale, downward facing dog. And you may take child's pose if you need more resting break. And now look at, at your hands and bring the forearms down. Bring the feet closer together in the center of the mat. And then on the inhale, lift the left leg up. And on the exhale, knee to chest. The head goes at the level of your thumbs. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Nose is in the middle of your thumbs. Inhale, back. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale back, exhale squeeze, last one, inhale, and exhale squeeze, and downward facing dog, and lift the elbows up, and nice. lift your left leg up. And slowly step it forward for warrior one. Send the arms back, humble, interlace the fingers behind you, and then inhale up, exhale down, humble, inhale up, exhale down, Inhale up, exhale down, last one, inhale up, and exhale, humble, come to warrior three, so lift the back leg up, open your wings, and then slowly step the right foot forward, chair pose, inhale. On the exhale, left arm back, look back. Keep your knees in the same way they were. Inhale forward, exhale, right arm back, look back. Inhale forward, palms together, exhale, fold forward. And check it out if you need to. Grab your hips, inhale, lengthen, come all the way up. Very nice, interlace the fingers behind you. Wrists touch each other, 
as your fingers interlace. Inhale here, and exhale, fold forward. Hands on your hips, and then on the floor, inhale, lengthen. Heel toe the feet to the outside. Bend the knees, sit low on your malasana, palms together. You may stay here, or you may play with crow. If you wanna play with crow, bring your, the palms down. And so your hands, your arms are your support. So try to bring, rather than trying to think, oh, I need to lift my feet off. Don't worry about that. All you have to do is think about bringing all the weight on your palms. So leaning your knees on top of your upper arms, leaning forward, bringing all the weight forward, 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 and then suddenly the feet it's almost automatically that they lift up, pull the navel in, maybe the toes touch, squeeze the elbows in, and slowly release. Beautiful. Go back to your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale upward, and exhale down, facing dog. Now lift the right leg up on the inhale and step it forward for high lunge. So stay on your back toes, press the left heel back, arms reach up. On the exhale, we open the arms to the right side for a twist. Straighten the right leg, come into a reverse triangle, slowly bringing the left hand down and the right arm up. Slowly release, find your triangle, so press your back heel down, right hand on the inside, Left arm goes up. And remember, there's so much lift going on in here, rather than just pressing down. So try to even lift the, the right fingers up off the ground. And slowly bring the left hand down, come into your warrior three. And then slowly bring the left foot forward, chair pose inhale. On the exhale, keeping the knees where they are, you send your right arm back, left arm forward, look back. And inhale, both arms forward. Left arm back, left arm forward, palms together, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, step or jump back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, and exhale, down, we're facing dog. Left leg goes up, inhale, and then slowly step the foot forward. For high lunge, inhale. Open your arms to the left. Sink lower on that front knee. Keep the right leg very powerful and strong. Straighten the front leg to come into reverse triangle. Right hand comes down, left arm keeps 
region up. And then we find triangle, so slowly bring the left hand down, right heel down, right arm comes up. Slowly release the right hand down, coming to your warrior tree, lift the back leg up. Arms fly out to the sides, or maybe not. Hands down, step the right foot forward, chair pose, inhale. Left arm goes back, gaze back, squeeze your knees. Left arm forward, right arm back. Both arms forward, sink low, palms together, full the exhale. Inhale, lengthen, step or jump back, plank, side plank, right arm goes up, on the exhale come back to plank and we do our yogi push up, exhale, lift up, inhale, side plank, left arm up, Left hand down, yogi push up, knees on or off. Inhale up, right arm up, side plank. Exhale, hand down, yogi push up. Side plank, left arm up. Left hand down, yogi push up. Right arm up, side plank. Right hand down, jogi push up. Side plank, left arm up. Left hand down, jogi push up. Right arm up, side plank. Exhale, jogi push up. Left arm up. And last one, yogi push up. And come to downward facing dog or child's pose. Come to uh, forearm, cobra. So forearms down, hips down. And just open your heart here, your head is looking forward, maybe close your eyes. Very nice, now we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. So come all the way down, extend your arms to the side. And we're just going to lift the left leg up Bring it to the back like we want to roll over the right arm. And relax the right ear down. Mm. Finding our breath once again if we lost our breath. And then we are moving to the other side. So return your left shoulder down, left chest. Expand your left arm and try to roll over your right shoulder and arm. Relax the head. Just like I, I asked you at the beginning, uh, am 
imagine that we are like a tree sensing the space, this moment. And just letting the roots ground us deeper into the earth and the space where we are in. Even though we know that we're going to get out of this posture, this stretch, or whatever it is, can we find a place of total surrender? And imagine that this space and, and moment are forever infinite. And then slowly roll back. Send your right arm to the side and inhale, lift up, airplane, and exhale, come into our child's pose, exhale, now inhale, come to all fours, cross your ankles behind you, and sit with the legs forward, we're gonna do a little stretch here in which the right leg goes under the left. So sit with your right knee pointing forward and the left leg goes on top. Don't worry if your knees are not on top of each other. Just do your best here. Grab your uh, top knee, lengthen. Breathe. And then fold. Same idea. Can we root down to the earth? This place and moment without questioning it, analyzing, overthinking, just being in this moment. Accepting the moment with gratitude. And slowly come back up and we switch legs. So now we want to put the right leg on top of the left. You may find that sometimes when we switch legs in one side, we can stack both knees together, and in the other one, we can't. So just taking notice of those uh, observ observations, right? Okay, inhale. And exhale, fold when you're ready. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit deeper today. I know that for me, today is just a couple of inches down. I went for a big run in the morning. So my hips feel a little tight right now. <laughs> in out of our stretch and extend the legs forward bring the soles of the feet together grab your big toes uh, yeah you can either grab all of the toes or just the big toes and hook them to create a little length yes maybe a little bit of, of opening in the chest and then exhale
can go where your body is asking you to go today with over pushing yourself or not feeling anything at all, right? Try to find that middle. Keeping the idea that in yoga, we are always going through a healing process, physical, rather than creating more harm in our physical body, right? So that's how important it is to listen to the body. All right, inhale, ease out of the posture, send the legs forward, and you may want to check it out. Then we're gonna come all the way down on our backs. All the way down. Ah, again, inhale. Ah, and an exhale. And we have, just before we end our practice, we're gonna do a couple of abs, ab, abs work. <laughs> just a couple. So I'm gonna time us for 30 seconds. That's why I have my iPad here. Let me turn it on. And bend your knees for this first one. We're gonna do the traditional one <laughs> for the first part, okay? Interlace your fingers behind you and just go up and down. Elbows to the south. Ready, go. I'll tell you when the 30 minutes are over. Squeezing it. Almost there. And now hold it at the top, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. Oh, exhale it out. Okay, here we go again with another style of work. We're going to bring the right elbow over the left thigh, lift up, left elbow over the right thigh, and like that. Ready? Go. Try to lift with the strength of your arm, uh, abs, <laughs> not the arms, the abs. Almost there. And hold it in whatever side you came for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Hold it, 5, 4, 3, 2, and when relax, we're gonna do the other side later, yes? I mean, in the next round. So we're gonna do this exercise again, and where we, go, where we hold it at the end, you hold it in the other side. Okay, just rest for a little bit. Are you ready? We're gonna do again, 30 seconds. So let me put this. Okay, ready? Go. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Now you hold it in the other side where you 
didn't last time for ten, nine, eight, squeeze it, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Release, check the head, relax the arms. Okay, one more. Are you ready? The other one, we're gonna lift the legs up like that. We're gonna lower the right leg, all, not all the way down, just to hover. And then up, left leg down and up. So switching legs like that. Yes, ready, go. Total control of the legs. Five more seconds. And ready? Hug your knees in, lift your chest and head up. And release every time that we do abs, uh, up work. We want to do either an upward facing dog or a bridge. Yes, so in this case, we're gonna do bridge. We're creating extension on our hips, which is the opposite of our abs, right? So always trying to bring a counter exercise, counter posture to bring the body back into balance. Okay, slowly release. And let your knees drop to the left, extend the arms. And then over to the right. Back to the center and relax in Shavasana. Arms can come closer to your sides, palms facing up, let the feet rest. Again, finding your root. Expressing total gratitude for this space and moment. This location let your nervous system relax
and feel free to stay here or to end your practice in meditation, sitting meditation in Sukhasana. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Click like on the bell button to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Hit the like button, share, comment, and keep on loving. Remember that the world opens when you are open.